everyone, this is David. It's just a quick hit. Hello, hello, hello. Let's get right into it. Happy Sunday. Is everyone having a good Sunday today? You know, we're just jumping on for a few quick hits. Um, Let's not spend too much time, guys. If anyone wants more of me and you're not sick of me, I am sick of my own voice. Go listen to the Mindy Cohn um, chat this week because she's really good friends with Dolores and Margaret. She's in Palm Royale, which is so good already. And um, yeah. And uh, she worked with Kim Fields on Facts of Life. That was her co-star. So we talk all about our HOA. Um, anyway... Welcome for everyone watching on YouTube. Sorry, I look like a mess. It's Sunday morning. It's LA. It is foggy and I'm exhausted. So a couple of things, couple of things here. Has everyone watched a Buying a Beverly Hills? Uh, that Mauricio, she's got something to say. You know, so many of you have slipped into my DMs that you've watched it. It worked. It has worked. Now, look, Kyle's not. In, I, this is helping Mo more than it's helping Kyle. Kyle was never in jeopardy of losing her job on RHOBH. She is never going to be in jeopardy of losing her job on RHOBH. Okay? She's an OG, and that animal in New Jersey, Teresa Giudice, we have two OGs here that are floating around. Kyle is not in jeopardy. Andy loves her. She's not going anywhere, despite what she says, you know. So this has helped her. I think this has helped. I, I, this has helped. What am I saying? What I'm trying to say is this has helped two people the most, as far as I can see. A, Morgan Wade. Y'all, y'all, y'all. And B, Mo. Hi, Mauricio. She's doing well today. Mauricio Umansky. It's helped two people. Because Kyle was fine. So many of you, this is like the traders. Nobody watched Buying Beverly Hills season one. I did. I love real estate porn. Real estate shows are my favorite. Selling Sunset, Selling the OC, Million Dollar Listing, Million Dollar Listing New York, RIP. I will absolutely be watching Sirhand on Netflix, which also might be called Selling New York. Let's be honest. Ryan has a new show coming. And I watched Buying Beverly Hills. Now you all seem to be watching. So... Congratulations, Mauricio. Congratulations, Kyle. Because, of course, you want Mauricio to make as much money as possible. You can divorce him. Cha-ching, cha-ching. And this is helping everyone. It's helping Mauricio the most. Uh, Mauricio has spoken out, though. She's not happy with all this. You know, you want to get your press for buying Beverly Hills, and now you're doing interviews and during the interviews, um, Mauricio has come out and said that, um, you know, it's really annoying. So Kyle wants you all to know it's none of your fucking business what happened with him, with her and Mauricio. And uh, Mauricio wants you all to know that you're fucking annoying. So are you more offended by Kyle telling you it's none of your fucking business? Or are you more offended by Mauricio telling you that you're all fucking annoying? He says it's very annoying not being able to live under any privacy or anything like that. It's annoying. It's a huge sacrifice, huge sacrifice. Let's focus on that word, sacrifice. Being on reality TV, it's a sacrifice, he says again. So he, he's annoyed that this has to be, you know, played out in the public eye. Do we even need to touch that one? Girl, the agency is what it is, not because you left Rick Hilton, not because you had enough balls. It is what it is because you're on a reality TV show. And yes, you're very good at your job. And you hired David and James who are on Million Dollar Listing. And you are great. You built an amazing business. I'm not taking that away from anyone. I'm not taking away Skinny Girl from Bethany. But don't tell me that Skinny Girl would be Skinny Girl if you weren't on a platform to talk about Skinny Girl and drive around a fucking hideous car in the Hamptons in front of millions of people. So it is what it is. I'm sorry you're annoyed, Mauricio. You can't have the benefits, girl, without um, without the sacrifice. Speaking of Beverly Hills, Lisa Rinna. Miss Rinna has spoken. Let me tell you something. Stop 
your nonsense. And I'm saying that to all of you. Let me dispel all the rumors going on around there. Camille is in talks to return. Fake news. Brand, um, not Brandy. Uh, Denise is in talks to return. Fake news. I saw today on a whole bunch of blogs. Eileen Davidson is in talks to refuse to to return. Fake news. So this bullshit that Eileen, and Camille, and Denise are in talks. Stop it. Just stop it. Stop the nonsense. I even saw that Rinna is in talks. Stop it. There's only one person from the past who is returning to Beverly Hills. And her first name is Kathy and her last name is Hilton. There you go. Okay. Please. And by the way, just so you know, for 10 fucking dollars, $10, I have to raise my price because I am getting booked on Cameo all day. For $10 on Cameo, you can actually ask me a question. It doesn't have to say happy birthday, stick your hand down your pants. You can ask me an actual fucking question. So when you hear this bullshit and you DM me all day and want an answer, I don't have time to answer back. Now, book me on Cameo, girl, or boys, and uh, I'll give you an answer. So book me on Cameo, $10. I, I have to change that price. This is crazy. It's highway robbery. But um, when you hear this shit and you want an answer, that's where you go. Now, Lisa Rinna was on Jennifer Hudson. And of course, going back to Beverly Hills came up. And Lisa Rinna says, no, never. No, I wouldn't, she says to Jennifer Hudson. But listen, I'm grateful for the experience. I think it has made me a better actor because I'm acting again. Hey, then an audience member snickered. He, 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 he. She's like, I'm not kidding. You laugh, but it's true. I think it made me a better actor working with those women and going through that experience. I just did a movie called Mommy Meanest, which I trained for for eight years on that show. I definitely did. I had a pull from. I had a lot to pull from. I have a lot to pull from after working for eight years on that show. You know, Different psychologies of different women I would never have come across that if I hadn't on that show. I'm grateful for that show. I'm the person I am today because of it, and I'll never go back. Nope, did it, done, saw the movie. Um, I told you guys I ran into Harry Hamlin in November. He's like, fuck, we are so happy. She's off the show. I think I kind of believe her. Now, look, Rin is a hustler. She says this. If she's offered enough money, I think she'll go back. But look, so, okay, I think she'll go back. I think that's all bullshit. If she was offered enough money, she's not going back this year. She's not going back next year. My gut says Lisa Rinna will never be back on Beverly Hills Housewives. It, really because they're never going to ask her back. It, the show, we've, we've moved past that. Here's the thing. Do you guys have a minute? This is a quick hit. Come on. Why are you doing this to me? I'm sick of it. I got to go have a life. But do you have a minute? Here's the thing. You know how like you date someone and it's really good. And then it's also really bad. And then you break up with them. And then you say, I'll never go back. Okay. Now, the other person, they maybe have a little bit of the power. They know if they asked you back, you would probably go back. And the thing is, it's not that they don't want you back. It's not that they don't want you back. They have days where they're lonely. They have days where they're horny. They have days where they feel alone in the world. And they think maybe the best thing is to go back to that person. And I know if I ask them back, they'll come back to me because, you know, I'm richer, I'm cuter, whatever it is, whatever stupid system of hierarchy in this fucked up world we use. It's supposed to be in love with someone, right? And none of that's supposed to matter. But whatever it is, they have a little bit of power and they think I'm having a bad day. Maybe I'll ask that person back. They have a bad season at Beverly Hills. Maybe we'll ask Rena back. But the thing is, when the moment passes and you think about it, you think about all the drama that came with dating that person. And even though you're having a bad day, week, month, and you think, and you're still thinking, do I text them? Do I call them? Do we start discussions about get, getting back together? Because I know they'll say yes. You say to yourself, 
man, that was a bad month, but that moment has passed. And you just remember all the drama. So I really, truly believe just like that. I don't think Bravo is ever going to ask Rena to come back. I love Lisa Rinna. I 